This is the bedroom, the big bedroom that we've come in and rearranged the furniture, separated the bunk beds, which we thought was a great idea. This is what we've done with it. We've put one of the bunk beds over in the corner here, where the bunk beds used to be, remember? Well, we've only got one sitting there. And we've got a TV and a DVD in so that people can see that while you're in bed. As you can see, the aircon unit is there. That would have compromised anybody sleeping on the top bunk because they would have had direct cold air or hot air, whichever temperature you put it at, according to the time of the year. Um, which wouldn't have been very healthy and as our kids said when they were younger they kept banging their heads off the, the, the beams when they were climbing to the top so so we thought it was a very good idea to separate them and this is what we've done okay just a quick view of there Okay, we're going through into now. This is the room, the terrace room. Remember, um, where the balcony is, where the terrace is. Balcony of the terrace. I'll just open these up um, so we can get some natural light in. There we go, that's better. This is what we did with the other, the terrace room, where we put the other bunk bed. As you can see, uh, the, obviously the blue on the wall and everything that needs to be painted up because I think the aircon was leaking at one point. Um, but that's where we put the other bunk bed. As you can see, everything's like tidied under the bed, so there's no clutter in the room, the, and it's got an identity. Um, this is. The click clack which we were still keeping here so that people can still use the room they can sit here but it has a bed in it now where when it comes to night time people can actually sleep we put the drawers at the end of it the end of the bed with a lamp on it um so that people can put their clothes in and there's a bit of space just between the end of the bed and the drawers so a case could fit in. So we thought that was a good idea. 